Suppose Ted wants to invest $3,500 into a savings account earning 3% interest compounding quarterly. How much money will he have at the end of three and a half years? Before we begin, we have seven parameters we will need to determine before we enter them into our calculators. Capital N, the total number of compound periods, interest per year, otherwise known as interest per annum, IY, payments per year, PY, compound intervals per year, CY, the present value, PV, the regular payment, PMT, and the future value, FV, which we hope to determine with our calculators. Capital N is given by the product of PY in the time in years T. We'll revisit that in a moment. The interest rate IY is 3%, so 3. And this will compound 4 times per year, hence CY is 4. We will set PY equal to CY for compound interest calculations. Now we're ready to compute n, taking 4 times 3.5, which is equal to 14. Our present value, PV, is 3,500. We will enter this as a negative number because it is an investment. We are not making regular payments into this account, therefore PMT will be set to zero. And now we're ready to compute the future value FV. Now we're ready to start entering our parameters into the calculator. We will type the number 14, press the capital N button to lock in that value. When you see that equal sign, you know the value has been saved. We will set IY equal to 3 by pressing 3 and pressing the IY button. And we will enter PY by pressing second function and IY. We will enter 4, and here we have to press the Enter button. And scroll down to find CY. To exit this section, we will hit Clear Work. Now we're ready to enter our present value, 3,500. Remembering that this is an investment and we will enter it as a negative number. We will press the PV button. And because again, we are not making regular payments into this account, we will enter zero for PMT. Now we are ready to hit the compute button, CPT the FV button, which gives us our answer of 3,885.964347, or after rounding, 3,885.96.